more on the iPad Mini 6, and shortcuts. This is Mac Voices. This edition of Mac Voices is supported by Mac Voices Magazine, our free magazine on Flipboard. Updated daily with the best articles on the web to help you do more with your Apple tech and beyond, Mac Voices Magazine content is available in the free Flipboard app, on the web, or in your favorite RSS reader. Visit macvoicesmagazine.com for details. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. This is the third and final part in a three-part Mac Voices Live discussion about some of Apple's new hardware, the iPhone 13 and the iPad Mini 6. This time around, we finish up the iPad Mini 6 discussion, talk about shortcuts, and a few other things before we wrap it up. So let's go back and let the panel do the talking. That's exactly why you all need to go buy an and, iPad mini and a and, Mac mini so that Apple continues to make them. Well, I do have a Mac mini. Um, and, you know, you know I've, got got a, the iPhone I've got mini. a big phone. So, you know, it's sort of like, oh, so I really need one more device in between there. You know. Probably not. But that's interesting because I have a friend who d- they got they gave away. They, they sold the, their iPhone. They're not using an iPhone anymore, but they went with a cellular mini. Hmm. They're not going to hold it up to their head, obviously, and take phone calls on it, but that's almost never what they were using it for anyways. And so that's their on-the-go right. device. Andrew, I wanted to drag you into this um, because you, you've you said on previous shows that your work, workflow is an iPad, iPad workflow. Hmm. And so how do you feel about the Mini fitting into potentially, I know you didn't raise your hand that you got one, but would an iPad Mini fit into your workflow either from a mobile standpoint or just from any standpoint? No. Um, For me, it's really just about the smaller screen. Um, I did have an iPad mini back in the day. It was like the iPad mini 2, I think. I ended up really just using it as an e-reader. Nowadays, what I'm doing on my iPad Pro, I have the one from 2018. I'm doing writing uh, web browsing, social media, some reading, which would fit on the iPad mini. But I think for me, just it's the writing aspect that I, I don't think the size of it would work for me. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Just again, trying to ask everyone to evaluate their workflows based on the, on the model. So I, I, I can definitely say, you know, I think it's a great little machine, and Jim, you know, I, I, I would, I, I really do believe that you would probably find that you would be, well, once you start going places again, that you'd be more inclined to take the mini, and and find more uses for it as opposed to just a Kindle, just to read. Well, I, I don't, I, I don't even know where my Kindle is anymore. Um, so I pretty much use the iPad. You know, in fact, even before the iPad, I was using the phone. And the iPad has really cut into my phone use. I, I use my phone a lot less since I got the iPad Pro. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I, 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 you know, I, I actually would love a 12 inch like Jeff has. You know, I was really torn and I just decided it was like that was a little too, probably too heavy. Um, you know, like if you're sitting there for a long time reading or something, just holding it up. Um, Although re- re- recently I purchased a hardcover book, which I hadn't done for like quite a while. And I've been slowly reading it and it's like, dang, that thing is heavy. <laughs> 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 oh, I want my iPad back. It is funny how, how quickly you can, you don't think you cha- you're changing and then suddenly you wake up one day and say, oh my, look what happened to me. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Like Brittany, <laughs> What, what, Kelly? I love my Kindle. I, because I, sometimes I read at night. And so it's really nice to have something that's not super bright. So um, I have a paper white from like a 2017, 2018 paper white. And so it's got the light in it. So I can, I put it at like the, the dimmest setting. And um, I, I use it constantly. Or uh, like if I want to, if all I'm going to do is sit down and read, um, I don't get texts on it. I don't get Twitter on it. I don't get notifications on it. Uh, I don't get anything on it. And I can just sit and read. 
I really if you like put that. the Kindle app on the iPad in dark mode mm-hmm. and you can turn it down, it's you can make it really dim. Oh, I know. But I don't usually have my iPad sitting next to the bed. And if I wake up in the night and can't sleep and decide I want to read for a little while, my Kindle is absolutely oh. the answer to that. Not and I, not my phone, because then because there's all kinds of other stuff on my phone that will just keep me up later. <laughs> so. My iPad is definitely next to my bed. Yeah. Airplane mode, Kelly. Airplane mode. <laughs> that's true, too. Well, there's blue light, too, but that's a whole nother conversation. Or, <laughs> or no notifications to your iPad at all. Just saying. Oh, yeah. I don't get notifications I like on my iPad. I like how you think, Brittany. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a big one device to rule them all when it comes to notifications person. Mm, okay. Brittany, though, you said, in, again, in, our, in the chat here, um, and this is kind of off topic, sort of on, that you're going back on beta because of the shortcuts issues. Uh-huh. Can you ex- expand on that just a little bit since a lot of people may not be familiar with it? Well, shortcuts tried to make a big leap and I guess sort of successfully. Anyway, um, they went back and did Swift UI so that it could also be on the Mac. And it has been exactly what you expect. I tried to come up with a car analogy to explain it to my husband, but um, I didn't. I wasn't super successful. Um, but they they did a whole bunch of stuff from the ground up, and it's it's buggy. And I need my shortcuts to run again. And some of them improved in uh, iOS 5.1 developer beta, so I need to go back on the beta. So whatever improvements happen there, I get them immediately because it's just such a huge part of my computing life. It's buggy on iOS or on Monterey or both? Yes. I'm not on Monterey. It, it's it's very buggy on it's iOS. It's just buggy. And yeah, and then if you have Siri shortcuts. Which and I'm not even trying I to build them, which is the worst if you're trying to build them in the new operating system. But I don't do that because then I can't run them on the, the devices that still work um, that are on uh, 14. So yeah, it's it's buggy in Monterey, I understand too, but it is also buggy on iOS. And the simpler your shortcuts are, the easier they're running, apparently, but that's not an accurate description of mine. Yeah, Brittany, even even my simple shortcuts I I'm having trouble with right now. I'm sorry to hear that. What, 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 how how are they buggy? Do they just not run or they're unreliable? They don't, they don't run. At all. They just quit just like with you no bake. error messages often. Yeah. And uh, wow. and my uh, my shortcuts, my Siri shortcuts, uh, it's it's a crapshoot whether it's mm-hmm. going to work and actually work, or it's going to appear to work, but it doesn't work. Or if I'm going to get some rando response from my home pods or whatever device I'm I'm talking to. Yeah. So it's I mean, right right now for me to to use shortcuts that I would typically use Siri for, the most reliable way for me to do that is to open the shortcuts app on my iPhone and then just tap it. Mm-hmm. Everyone I know who uses a lot of shortcuts, Jim, um, has complained about them failing in a new and different way than the last person who told me that their shortcuts are failing in some new and interesting way. That's, Personally, that's... mine worked better in beta one than they did in the Golden Master. That's really interesting because, you know, I follow the community, not so much shortcuts directly, but just the general, you know, R- I, Twitter and RSS feeds. And I haven't seen anything about that, which makes me wonder how many people are using shortcuts. Oh it sounds God, like something so that should broken. be a headline. And They're even the people that broken. are really into it and talk about it a lot didn't really talk about it until it was close to it coming out. Um, and so I, I occasionally, because I hadn't, I've been busy this summer and I didn't have time to keep up with the, the shortcuts community. And I felt like I was taking crazy pills a little bit because I was having all these issues and, and people weren't talking about it on podcasts, but um, when I actually dipped back into the shortcuts discord um it turns out no it was not just me so yeah it's it's been pretty bad what are we on now um 
15.1 beta 2. A2 just got just uh, rolled yeah. out to today. Today. Today? Yeah. today? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, 15.1. I checked it this morning. I, I don't know if that's going to solve your problems, but you know, that will address some of the rough, rougher spots of 15. As we, but I don't know about the. Remind uh, me in one hour to update to beta well, 2. If, if nothing else, I'm shocked. You know, I mean, I subscribe to Mac Stories on RSS. And I, I think, can't believe that they released 15 within shortcuts in such a shape and there was no comment from them where they're such. The, big... They've been doing a lot with um, Obsidian now. That's their shortcuts land. Obsidian! <laughs> what? Mac Stories? Well, a little bit. Yeah, they do like a lot with Obsidian. Thing. Yeah. Although but... I, uh, I posted in the chat a screenshot yeah. or a link to a tweet from Federico. Yeah, which is from, yeah, right. There is no way shortcuts should ever look like that. Yeah. No. no, but there's yeah. also been a lot of like, like broken, like a lot of the conversation that I saw, like it was brief, but it was like broken, 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 broken file radar, file radar, file radar, file radar, or it would be like broken, 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 broken. It's a beta. It's a beta. It's a beta. It's a beta. And it was sort of like people were just sort of waiting for it to be something that was official. But I did see a lot of people that were talking about how to send feedback how to file a radar, how to dupe a radar. So I honestly, I had a lot of hope that this was going to be a lot better situation by the time 15 was released than what it actually ended up being, which is apparently for a whole lot of people, uh, reheated garbage, which I, th and I might be being too generous in that. It, it's a bucket of sadness and despair. I, yes. Am I, I, I not remembering? Did they make some fundamental change to shortcuts in iOS? That yes, because all of it moved to Swift UI. They yeah, it basically. Oh, rewritten. on on it wasn't on I, now on on iOS. It's also in, in Swift UI. Right, they moved the whole so, so thing. These because are shortcuts but, are coming but, to Mac. Yeah, but yeah. um, you're talking about the editor moved to to Swift UI, but you're telling me that um things just don't run right. Right. That shouldn't involve the UI. Uh, they've made huge fundamental changes so that it would also work on Mac. And whether or not you look at the editor, it still seems to be pretty fundamentally tied into that. I mean, it goes action by action. I they, They've been moving away from that visual interface, but I don't I don't think it's that disconnected. I don't know that much whatever about. they've done fundamentally borked shortcuts a lot wow and it's a step towards a better future and i think we talked about whether or not shortcuts would come to the mac on mac voices within like live like since it's been a thing and mm -hmm. i said i don't know if that's a great idea it will be great eventually but it may not be great right away yeah, but my, my great not expectation right, right now, Brittany, is that when Monterey rolls out for us probably next month sometime, we'll all be able to say, this is awesome because we have shortcuts that don't run on the Mac either. You know, it, it's interesting. I, I, I have some new developer friends in Vancouver that have an app that's in Swift UI. And uh, I've been in a meetup with them every other week for the last few months and they are just raving about uh shortcuts and how wonderful it is and um they were just talking about it on sunday and they didn't say anything they were just like this is so great we're we're so happy and we're even like you know using shortcuts to do things that you know now we don't have to put in our app because we can just do it in a shortcut and so i don't, I don't know they're so shortcuts that's really are interesting still a cool thing it's just hard to have your stuff that was working before not working yeah no i'm just surprised that you know like i would have thought that they would have noticed that it didn't work um but maybe their shortcuts are just real simple i don't know the the one that was um, killing me for a long time that just meant i couldn't run anything from my phone um was that actions that you were running in an embedded shortcut so you can have an action in a shortcut to run another shortcut and my entire life is made up of embedded shortcuts within each other. And, and many actions just would die. And so I couldn't run anything. 
So but then they also teams, don't subroutines don't, give don't you, work. They don't break like it's they don't say, hey, it broke. They don't say, hey, it's done. They don't say I just noped out in the middle. There's like no feedback on multi-step. I've seen that from a number of people. Now, some of the some of them were giving feedback. Um, all of the ones that have are are currently because the, the embedded shortcut one was fixed in in 15.1 beta. Um, and, and that's great. But then the current errors I'm having have no feedback. And most of the feedback wasn't useful if you have 400 actions in your shortcut. Because it was like, oh, yeah, it died in here somewhere. Thanks. I don't have two hours to troubleshoot that thing that worked before. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> From what I've heard, you should try writing Swift UI code. And that's a, that's a problem. Uh, what's the error? Oh, some error happened. Well, that's we'll, kind of what it we'll, feels we'll, like. We'll give you some random. <laughs> uh, you know, error, error messages yeah. are, are hard. Wait, they are. Me, they, they'll actually <laughs> give you that's a really random hard. error messages. That's luxury compared. I was going to say Jeff's jealous get. now. Yeah, because with with <laughs> our shortcuts, it, it's just you know, it's like if you if you had an employee and told them, "Hey, can you work on this spreadsheet this afternoon?" and they said yes, and you and you walk on, and then they just get up and leave their desk and never tell anyone. That's kind of what uh, shortcuts is right now. They, they must have made some change to the engine because errors like you're describing would not have anything to do with the editor user interface. Um, I don't know that they're that disparate still. It's, uh, well, they, Jim, they should if we be, did a car analogy, to me, this is like someone at Apple thought, you know what would make these uh these shortcuts sweeter so if we put sugar in the gas tank <laughs> i'm just gonna have it sort of sounds more like tech metaphors we need a new now. we've we've given everything to. a new gas tank but that new gas tank is made of sugar well it hopefully like they'll straighten it out and you know six weeks from now this will all be like a not so fun memory I do think that it's going to be glorious when everything is working on multiple platforms. I, I just want that to be sooner. <laughs> That's all. Well, of course. It, it will be do. great. I just, yeah. I, I, I was hoping it wouldn't bork my iOS shortcuts quite so much, even though I knew I wouldn't use the, the Mac ones right away. Yeah. Well, it's, it'll be interesting. I mean, there's, even though it's not just next month, there's probably a long time both for the betas of 15 as well as Monterey to have things come a little bit more in line and hopefully work a little bit. Yeah, I can I, easily I imagine that it would take a big low level change to make it compatible across platform. I thought it was pretty amazing when they announced it, that they were saying, Oh, your shortcut, you know, they can run on both platforms. I was like, really? Wow. All right. Now it's more like they can fail on both platforms, which <laughs> is sadly I, a step forward. I knew mine wouldn't run on the Mac for a long time because I use so many third-party apps. And and so those right. have to be there and have the intent. Although they did make the intents work better than I had expected, at least from what I've heard, not having actually tried Monterey yet. But, you know, hopefully if you take a, a, a shortcut that uses a third-party app, move it to the Mac where you don't have that third-party app, you just should get a reasonable error message. Like what happens if you move it to a phone that doesn't have that? Uh, app Does at the moment there's no continue on with that like so keyboard maestro which is i know one of jay's favorites too um no no jay's i'm saying has a little now. thing that says don't kill the macro if you hit this error there's nothing like that in shortcuts it just I, dies so but i mean if you have a shortcut you made on your phone and you gave it to somebody that put it on another phone that didn't have the correct program for that to run does it give you a reasonable error message like, oh, this app is missing? Or I'm, I'm talking about on iOS Sometimes 14. Sometimes. I'm talking about iOS 14 before all this other problems. But yeah, in iOS but, 14, I would get uh, errors that, that were descriptive. Were actually, probably the best errors were from 14. Um, but sometimes it'll still say this app doesn't exist. And if you're opening multiple apps within one shortcut, you don't always know what app isn't there. So it, it doesn't tell you 
the app. Which one? Wid Widget Corp doesn't, it, it just says an app doesn't exist. Right. Yeah, right. that's but awful. In every version, always, if I have one I made on my phone and one of my actions is vibrate device and I play it on my iPad, it just dies there. And it'll say, yeah, there's no vibrate. I think it does anyway. But all the actions after that just don't happen. It doesn't have any automatic smartness to say, yeah, but it's an iPad. So, okay, just keep running. Because clearly that's not that important. Like, I can't do it manually. It doesn't Error do it automatically. It just dies. It is. <laughs> so I, I, I suspect it's not any more graceful between the Mac and, and missing apps than vibrate device killing it. Sometimes I listen to like David Sparks and Rosemary Orchard on the automators and they're describing, you know, these, you know, and I'm like, just start programming, get a copy of Xcode, you know, stop resisting. <laughs> that's, that's the fun part though, because Rose is like the best of both worlds because she's actually a developer. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm mostly yeah. thinking of David. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no hope for him. <laughs> that's fair. It would cut into his Disneyland park time, and that's not happening. Ellie, you right. read my mind. Chuck just got all moody on us. Chuck's Ooh. gone Haunted Mansion speaking of Disneyland Chuck. all of a sudden. Dark side of There her. we go. Yeah, sorry about that. Small. <laughs> no, that was cool. Do it oh, again. no, I liked it. <laughs> no, 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 we're not going to do it again. Just do that every time, time we get off again. the rails. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Chuck yeah. doesn't want to sit in the Is dark for two hours room? every Tuesday, Mike. That's that's like the last call. You know, they flick the lights. Sorry, guys. Last time, last time. So, <laughs> the spooky call. voices, uh, <laughs> the taunt of the internet. Is, in well, the year we do, 2000. We do have Halloween coming up. So. <laughs> this is a good topic, oh, Brittany. Oh, 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 man. <laughs> guys, thank you. Mining about shortcuts. Yeah, we yeah. we went in directions I really didn't expect tonight after the uh, the hardware stuff, but it was good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I have an idea, a funny feeling that we'll be coming back to shortcuts in the future too. What? Um, it'll be a happy really story. Yeah, oh, it'll get there eventually, Jim. I'm, I'm yeah, confident. yeah. No, I'm saying you know we'll we'll talk about all the great things we're we're doing with shortcuts, and that's what the next next time we talk about it will be. <laughs> we'll talk about all the great things Brittany is doing with shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. And and Brian in the chat room says Mac Voices After Dark started early. Yeah, okay. Good point. <laughs> Very good. Good for you, Brian. Good for you. I was watching my mouth the whole time. <laughs> Let's go around the room and find out where we can find our, our our panelists when they're not here doing whatever it is we've been doing. Um Okay, there you go. They're turning the turning the cameras on and off. Just <laughs> oh, I love you, Jay. Just, okay. just doing that change the order because it come yeah. back in the yes. same order for me. Oh, it doesn't come back in the so. same order for me. It changes it all <laughs> over the place. Oh, that's weird. So, mm. so just... let's go. Let's get started. David Ginsburg, where can folks find you? You can find me at in touch with iOS at in touch with .com. I believe we are going to have you on the show this week, uh, Chuck. And uh, you also can find me on the Mac show on Tuesday nights here on Mac Voices Live. And uh, my YouTube channel is uh, youtube.com slash Dave G65 and Twitter, Dave G65. Thank you as always. Thank you. Good to have you, David. Have you. Jeff Gamut, I know we I know we can find you one or two places. One or two, yes. Um, Twitter and Instagram. I'm Jay Gamut on both. Uh, YouTube.com slash Jay Gamut for my videos. And here on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the big show. On Fridays, the Mac show. By the way, I'm the interim host on both of those right now because uh, apparently you and Rankin is uh, too busy to bother showing up. And uh, sometimes on on in touch with iOS and uh, um, and occasionally now Brian Chaffin is roping me in on Apple Context Machine. <laughs> You're right. Uh, one or two places. I'm easy to find. Just Google me. Good job. Good job. And you do such a great job on all of them, Jeff. Oh, you thank do. you. So, so we we always are happy to have you right here, just just to ourselves for a little while. Chuck, I'm all yours. <laughs> Ah, uh, I gotta go to sleep with that tonight. Thinking about that. Yeah, <laughs> Jim, can you draw your picture? Will that help? No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I wonder where you Brittany... can sell the 
the non-fungible for that. Jeff. Um, <laughs> yeah, I need to get that set up too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Brittany Smith, thank you for uh, coming and talking about shortcuts and your uh, your new iPhone. Where can folks find yeah. you? Thanks for having me. Um, on Twitter, I'm the ADD Liberator, just ADD Liberator, and same on YouTube. And if for some reason you need to find my website, it's Conquer.Consulting. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. My iPad mini friend, Mr. Mike Schmitz. Mike, where can we find you? You can find me trying to convince the world to use Obsidian over at thesweetsetup.com and on Twitter at underscore Mike Schmitz or MikeSchmitz.com. Great. Thank you, Mike. I, I neglected to say Brian in the chat room says he uh, has downloaded Obsidian. He was really impressed with your presentation at MacStock. He's looking forward to trying it out. So Awesome. You, 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 you have one convert for the night. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Ray with a, with a new camera angle and uh, he's, he's getting used to some new gear. Where can folks find you? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm getting used to it. And I don't know if you noticed, I made an adjustment and the whole thing fell apart in the middle. <laughs> uh, right. Proview.com, P-R-O-V-U-E.com. And also Proview Jim on Twitter. I, I, I have a slight follow-up. A friend of mine is watching the show and he texted me about the extra screens, minis, or iPads as extra screens. And he says that he sometimes uses his iPad as a printer. He prints to PDF and then opens it in GoodNotes. So instead of printing to a piece of paper and, you know, he uses his iPad as, as a printer, which is kind of interesting. Um, oh, you two guys with I iPad minis. I wondered, have either of you seen this jelly scrolling thing or is that for real? Or have you even heard of it? Mike? People are really obnoxious about stupid little things. That's my opinion. <laughs> but ha have you even seen it? <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. Uh, I don't know. I, I have a feeling if I went and looked on my other iPads, I'd see it there too, but I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's a big mm -hmm. deal. I'm just, since we got two people here that have them, I'm wondering if that's kind of what I expected. Yeah. What you're saying, but. Yeah. I can't say that I've seen it, but um, I also think that I've read some, some of those articles and it seems like always, you know, down in the fine print, you know, after you're bored with reading the article, it's like, yeah, this has been a known thing for some of these uh, screens before, but you know, right away, iPad mini six, you know, Joey scrolling. Yeah. Oh, well, Frustrated. you're scrolling Frustrated. it wrong, Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did yeah. show titles, Mike. I might do that. Uh, <laughs> Andrew Orr, where can we find you? Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, you can find me right in for the Mac Observer, MacObserver.com. Uh, I am occasionally on the Mac Observer's Daily Observations podcast. And on social media, like Twitter, you can find me with the username Andrew or not. Excellent. Thank you. And just for Andrew, we stayed away from the topic of email tonight. So <laughs> Thank look, you. Look for that next week. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Miller, where can we find you? You were quiet tonight. A little scary. No, it's it's not October yet, so there's no reason to be scary. Um, KJ Y Miller on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Um, also, Relay.fm slash Conduit, where I talk about the uh, productivity from a new positive light. And also kjymiller.com, where you can check out links to my coding projects, talks, and all the fun things. I'm also speaking at PyGotham this weekend. So if Python or uh, visualizing police call records are your thing, come say hi. There you go. There you go. Thanks for being here, Jay. Last but not least, Kelly Gamont, who turned her camera on and off just to, uh, I think, capture the bottom slot. Um, where can folks find you? Well, if you go on the internet and swing a strip of bacon, you will hit me. Um, you can find me five days a week over at the macobserver.com where I host the daily observations podcast. You can find me on the show I do with Mike Rose called the after show with Mike and Kelly over at aftershowpodcast.com. I have my own show on the incomparable network called I want my MCU TV, where we talk about the latest show from Marvel that is streaming on Disney plus. 
I appear fairly regularly on the Football is Life podcast from the incomparable that you can find at veranisports.co.uk and uh you can find me occasionally saying other stuff over at the incomparable and if you still want to know um what else i'm up to uh you can sometimes find find me playing pokemon go with Brittany, or you can find me on twitter as verso excellent thanks so much for, thanks for being here Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices Live. We do this Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, whatever time it is, wherever you are. We would love to have you join us in our chat room. Uh, the chat room has been very active tonight. Um, I'm going to give Craig the last word from the chat room. He says that I must have gotten my booster, that I was green. Okay. <laughs> whatever. Um, come come and join us uh and if you're listening to this after the fact we will be doing this every tuesday night uh at the designated time come and join us until the next time and as always thanks for watching visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with chuck on social media get involved in our facebook group or like our facebook page and get more out of your apple tech with mac voices magazine free on flipboard and on the web and if you find value in it all Consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.